Welcome back to more of the Freddy Fish 3 walkthrough. Now, I won't lie, it took me many attempts to figure out what Horsefez was saying by, well, by using that translation book. But I got this item nonetheless. It's a Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clipper Gapper. I'm gonna need that to get that purple, the, to get that golden pipe, which is back in the clam. Use this item to keep this clam's mouth open. A shim sham jimity jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Exactly. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! Now I get the pipe that's in there. Yikes! Better to be quick to, to get it. To get it before you get trapped. I before you end up trapped. I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if Old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Exactly. If you look in, in the jail here, you can see Putt-Putt on the poster. Here you go, boy! And the two sharks from the previous Freddy Fish games. The first two... Freddy Fish Games, and Freddy Fish Luther's Maze Madness. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Exactly. Head to the temple here. Old Soggy! The thief! The thief! Catch that. Go get that thief. But watch what happens here, for what Luther's up to. A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! That's not yours, Luther. That's not your jewel. Uh-oh. Now they're trapped. Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel, and, and then I took it out, and the door closed, and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. And now he's trapped. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. Exactly. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <clears throat> so what you gotta do here is go explore through the, t explore through the temple and to find the key to free Luther. Like there's a key right here, but he can't get it, not with his beam that's in the way. So you gotta go and find a red crystal and put it right here in the hole. Like here's a, the, um, the, the red crystal, but I need a chisel to remove it from the fish mouth. And here it is. It's a chisel! I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. <clears throat> and it will come in handy to remove the crystal. After that, you go backtrack, and to find that red crystal, use this chisel to remove it from the fish mouth. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Now you can explore through the temple. This see. beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. Got it. And it grows back. That could come in very handy indeed. And it will indeed. Hey, the crystal grew back. Now you can explore through the temple to see to find the blue and green crystal. But, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to go and put this red crystal in place, and to get this key, and to free Luther. This crystal looks like it will fit here. And it will. Oh. Talk about quite the reflection. Now I can get the key. I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. After you pick up the key, backtrack, and to go free Luther. Let's get him out of here. And to go catch that thief. Yikes! Luther! I'm free! Let's put that jewel back. 
Exactly. Now the door's open. There's the bag. Look closer. The thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. Exactly. I hear came two for this. Disappointed my old silver head granny will be if not snapshot I bring back from festival. It's unbelievable! The letdown of a lifetime! This is more disappointing than when the Plankton Circus came to town! It's all Uncle Blenny's fault! I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind! Not so fast! <laughs> Uncle Blenny! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this cave. Which means the thief is... Now basically what the, what's happening here is you basically, when you find one of the items in the bag, you have to figure out who which item belongs to. Now you never know which item you'll f see in the sack, and never know which item this or that item belongs to. Now for any reason that you get the, <coughs> the name of the item wrong, you give the wrong item to the wrong character, you have to try again. Like... Now the description will tell you like the different items you'll find in the game and the name of the culprit. Now if you want to look up the six different endings for this game, you can like other YouTubers have uploaded it like Mr. 831 and um, the culprit endings from Desktop Dreams. In fact, Freyfish 4 includes all four endings from Mr. 831. Here this cane belongs to Gil Barker. He is the thief. Gil Barker, you're the thief. Ah, oh, that could have been anybody's cane in that bag. You haven't got a thing on me. Is that so? Oh, no? Think again, Gil Barker. What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess. I did it. The festival is the one day of the year when nobody comes to the carnival. And if nobody comes to the carnival, I don't make any money. But what's money compared to the happiness that the festival brings all your friends and neighbors? Anyway, no matter what anyone else says to make it seem right, it's just plain wrong to steal. You know, there are winners and losers, and I sure don't feel like a winner. No, he most certainly doesn't. I'm sorry. Here's the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. And me, Map Superstar. <laughs> oh, and old Sonic. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, O oh Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. Let the festival begin. <laughs> now Ray here, who is in the the first um, Freyfish games, you see him over here too with um, the culprit. Now for Gil Barker, who is the thief, or de depending on who the culprit is, here's what happens to this or that person's ending. Here's what Gil Barker gets for his punishment. <laughs> Gil was convicted of violating Penal Code 214 for excessive greediness. He was sentenced to 4,672 hours of public service silently working in the library. Case closed. And here are the credits for this game. Now the go button is basically if you want to play the game again, or stop if you want to exit. You can click on the bubbles, you see the different characters. You can pop them, see them See these bubbles turn different shape, size, and form. Even for other humongous entertainment cameos, like Fatty Bear, Pajama Sam, Buzzy, Spy Fox, Putt Putt. Good night. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of that's the end of Frey Fish Three: The Case of the Stolen Conch Shell. I hope you all had a good time. I hope you all had a good time watching the walkthrough reviews for this game. And I'll see you next time, depending on which game I do next. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.
enjoy the credits, and I'll let you know when the credits are over. I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Everybody's having a good time at the festival. And I feel sorry for Gil Barker for what he got himself into. That's the end of the credits. That's the end of this walkthrough. That's the end. TTFN, ta ta for now. Do you want to stop playing? Yes, I do. See you real soon!